Tech fans, welcome back for another installment of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Mindy Hilton. It was a weekend of almost upsets for our men's and women's basketball teams. Our men dropped a hard-fought 81-74 decision to number 3 Duke Saturday at Phillips Arena. Glenn Rice Jr. led the Yellow Jackets with 28 points and 8 rebounds off the bench, while Mufan Udofia finished with 19 points. Jason Morris chipped in 11 points, including a pair of highlight reel dunks, with one ending up on SportsCenter's top 10 list Saturday. You know, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm proud of the, the effort our guys gave. I'm, I'm proud of the resiliency they showed in the first half. Um, and at the same time, it's just an, it's another step in this process that we're under uh, and, and going to go through together that hopefully we can build on. Uh, when you play with that effort and that energy, uh, and with the, that team attitude, it doesn't always guarantee you success. But in the long haul, you're going to be highly successful. And that's something, you know, it's, it's tough for our guys sometimes to, to buy into that and understand that. Um, but that is where we're at right now. And you do it against a, you know, highly talented, obviously a very well-coached team. And you have a shot in the last three minutes to win the game. And that's what you're trying to get done. The Jackets will hit the road for a pair of games this week, starting with one at NC State Wednesday night at 9 p.m. The game will air on the ACC Regional Sports Network. Tech will then head to Maryland for a game versus the Terrapins on Sunday at 4 p.m. Our women's basketball team held a big lead at number 5 Maryland Friday night, but were just unable to hold on, falling 77-74 to to the Terrapins. Sasha Goodlett led the Tech with 20 points and 10 rebounds, while Maryland native Ty Marshall finished with 16 points. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I'm really proud of my team. I felt like we came out here with a good game plan. We, uh, we got it on our toes and we attacked early, and we were able to control the boards in the first half and stop transition baskets, the two things that Maryland does, score on transition baskets and offensive rebounds. We were able to take those away in the first half. You know, I was just really proud of the way our, my players competed um, right to the final buzzer. The Jackets are back home tonight for a game against number 12 Miami at 7. The game at the Arena at Gwinnett Center will air on ESPN3.com. On Thursday, the Jackets will host Wake Forest for its ACC Day. We're going to have free t-shirts and many other great prizes, so get your ticket today and cheer on the Jackets. Tickets for all men's and women's basketball games can be found online at ramblinrec.com or by calling 1-888-TECHTICS. Over the weekend, if you are watching the NFL playoffs, you are bound to see one of our former players on the field. On Saturday, Calvin Johnson of the Detroit Lions became just the sixth player in the NFL history to finish with over 200 yards receiving in his playoff debut. On Sunday, another former wide receiver, Demarius Thomas, topped Johnson's performance by becoming the seventh player with over 200 yards including the Broncos' game-winning 80-yard touchdown in overtime. In other football news, Tech junior wide receiver Stephen Hill has decided to give up his final year of eligibility and enter the NFL draft, while senior defensive end Jason Peters will compete in the Casino del Sol All-Star Game on January 16th. After a two-month layoff, the Georgia Tech women's swimming and diving team opened the spring semester by sweeping Florida Gulf Coast, Liberty, and North Dakota in a dual meet Saturday in Fort Myers, Florida, while the men had no trouble beating North Dakota. The Yellow Jackets will return to action next Saturday with an ACC double dual meet versus Florida State and North Carolina State at the GT Aquatic Center. Action begins at 11 a.m. and entry is free, so we hope to see you there. That's all for today. Join us again next Monday for another edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. And remember, visit ramblinrec.com for recaps and event and ticket information for all Georgia Tech sports. Until next time, I'm your host, Mindy Hilton, saying Go Jackets! <laughs>